Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. It is Monday. It is March the 1st. It's a whole new month. It's National Dagum That's Good Day. It's National Fruit Compote Day. National Horse Protection Day. National Minnesota Day. Also, National Peanut Butter Lovers Day, Mm. (laughs) National Pig Day, and Self-Injury Awareness Day. It's a lot of stuff going on there. And I've got a guest because, I don't know if you know this, but it's a movie star Monday as well. You know who my guest is today? Who's your guest? Diedrich Bader. I like him. I do too. This is uh, third or fourth time we've had him on the program now, but he's got uh, a huge milestone. They just passed last week the 100th episode of his new program, American Housewife. He was also on the Drew Carey Show and a bunch of movies like Office Space, The Beverly Hillbillies. We've got Diedrich Bader coming up in a bit. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most, and addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A study claims overweight people's brains work differently than people with a healthy weight. For instance, healthy people tend to think more long term. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there there are times that I, I know that uh, my brain is wired differently. It's definitely wired it's, uh, differently. We'll just finish those. eating and then I'll say to Heidi, hey, you in the mood for us? Uh, she's like, Dude, <laughs> we just got done eating. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. I'm full. Um, Another study published in the Wall Street Journal found that men who pose with cats in their online dating profile have a slighter chance of actually being selected. You know what? I would agree with that. Men who have cats in their pictures look less masculine, according to the study. When they were asking why, why would it matter? And they're like, eh, I don't know. Just look less masculine. So, Uh, But, hey, if you love cats and you're not going to date somebody that doesn't love cats, maybe you put them in there just to weed out the people who don't like cats. I don't know. That could be a, a, a way to look at it, too. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you, too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. This appears to be a new record for extreme DUI. Not that this is a competition. I don't want anybody and trying to beat this. this is not something you want to win. No, it is not. But this uh, motorist blood alcohol content was measured at 0.77. That's more than nine times oh the legal limit. Gosh. He crashed a car following a short police chase. So he was in a hit and run. When the police showed up, he took off. And then he smashed his car. Oh, my God. And when the police talked to him, he was highly intoxicated, crashed the car into a concrete barrier. He was transported to a hospital. Blood sample taken from the suspect showed his blood alcohol level at 0.778. The state's legal limit, by the way, is 0.08. The motorist, facing multiple criminal charges, was driving on a suspended license and due to a prior DUI conviction was about to lose his license for that. So, uh... Anyway, this is not his first rodeo. This happened, uh, let's see, the highest in the past were 0.72 in Oregon uh, in 2007 and a 0.708 in my home state of South Dakota in 2009. So this, I believe, is the new record at 0.778. Again, not a competition you want to win, but that is what happens when your brain is on drugs. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Kim Kardashian was seen without her wedding ring after filing for door, divorce from Kanye West last week. This is really sad to it really, me. It really is. And, and the is. weird thing is... I, I mean, I don't know I don't, why I yeah, care. I, I, I don't, I don't but this, this weird emotions that I'm having for these two breaking up makes no sense to me because... I wouldn't say that I'm a big fan of either of them, <laughs> no. but each one of them kind of marched to the beat of their own drum. They yep. did kind of weird, but they're they're like the beat of their drums was kind of like in tune, and I was like, I'm glad they found each other because 
you know, she's weird, he's weird, but they were weird together. <laughs> and and then all of a sudden it's not working out, and that makes me feel bad because you're weird, I'm weird, and we march the beat of our own drums. So That's right. we got to make this work, Heidi. We can't do what uh, Kim and Kanye did. Uh, Jared Leto recently deli- denied ever sending, quote, Suicide Squad co-star Margot Robbie uh, a dead rat during filming. Oh. So. I wonder why he would have done that anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I, I probably didn't even say quote. It said Suicide Squad, but it was in quotations. It's just the name of the movie. <laughs> so apparently <laughs> she's saying that he did. He's saying I didn't do that. Who knows? Big screen, little screen brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of RedCrossBlood.org. The U.S. Postal Service has released the first images of their new mail truck, which is expected to hit the road in 2023. The post office likes to honor iconic Americans by putting their images on stamps and posters, and uh, the board of directors voted on three possible models back in November. So what does that middle sentence have to do with any of that? Are they putting... Images of people Uh, on their trucks? I don't think so. I'll click on here. I'll look at that uh, while we're reading the next story. When it comes to a fear of germs, 39% of respondents in a nationwide survey said they picked uh, feared picking up germs from public restrooms more than any place else. So that's the place they're most afraid of. Since germs are the result of unsanitary conditions, the survey found that for 66% of respondents, unclean conditions were most apt to lead to a bad impression of a public restroom. No toilet paper was a second, uh, distant second at 13%, followed by odors in the restroom at 11%. And what is the top reason a public restroom makes a bad first impression? What 77% said cleanliness. When you go in and it's just a big old mess. So I uh, I went back to our previous story about the the new mail trucks and uh, not a good looking vehicle I'm gonna just say, uh, but no images of anybody on it. So I don't know why that sentence was in the middle there. Back to the germs thing. Are you afraid of restrooms? Do you, you know? Does that ever bother you? If there's a restroom that has the little foot thing on the door where you can open the door with the foot, I'll do that. Really? I really wish that they would have all restroom doors just open out. Because then you could just push it out, like with your arm. But here's why: I have been in men's restrooms so many times when somebody's done using the restroom and they just walk out. They don't even wash their hands, and I'm like, "What the?" It happens a lot. I'm like, at least pretend. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. So I wouldn't say that I'm a germaphobe, but I probably am. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> um, what strange love affair people have with bacon? A survey revealed. (laughs) This is such a bizarre thing. I don't even know if I want to know. 43% of Canadians would rather have bacon than, you know, a little hoo-hoo. So do I even want to ask, Heidi? (laughs) She's my wife. That's why I'm afraid to ask. You'd rather have bacon. (laughs) Of course, they're both just as messy afterwards. Would you just stop it? (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. I don't know if I'd go for the bacon or the... <laughs> it depends. If you start cooking the bacon and I smell the bacon, I'm like, eh, I'd rather go ahead. <laughs> we'll come back to this another time. Maybe. Maybe. All right. One last thing. Uh, Nile Crocodile in Florida underwent surgery to remove a shoe from its stomach. Doctor said it was a very risky procedure. My question, was there a foot was in the shoe? <laughs> Wouldn't that have been awful? Probably already dissolved. Yeah, so there was a a crocodile walking around with a a shoe in his tummy for some reason. Eh. They got him. It's all good. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show on a Monday. Early to bed, early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that, but I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. 
That's insurancechicken.com. It's another Movie Star Monday, and we have Diedrich Bader joining us once again. We've had him on the show a few times. He's such a fun guest. Uh, you might remember him from a little program called The Drew Carey Show. He's also been in a bunch of different movies, like Miss Congeniality 2, Balls of Fury, Napoleon Dynamite, Beverly Hillbillies, he was Jethro on there, Meet the Spartans, and many, many more. Now you can catch him every Wednesday on ABC TV with American Housewife. And Diedrich, congratulations on 100 episodes. That's awesome. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about the show. So Absolutely. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. So the 100, be back, 100 episodes. Now that is a milestone many shows never make it to. You've been there before with the Drew Carey Show, now back again with American Housewife. What is it like for the cast and the crew when you hit that magical number of 100? It's a little crazy because, you know, you're just day-to-day just trying to shoot, and this year in particular was really bizarre because everybody was wearing masks and shields and everything when uh, the crew and, and we rehearsed in them, and that was kind of weird. And so we're just kind of all sort of muddling through. Um, and then we got to 100 episodes and we looked around like, holy moly, guys, look how far <laughs> we made it. The 100th episode is, the plot of it is that Franklin, who's the best friend of Anna Cat, who is our youngest daughter on the show, has a podcast that uh, has an incredibly small audience, is basically like him and Anna Cat, but <laughs> has gotten to 100 episodes of his podcast and he's interviewing us. And we think it's going to be softball questions because he's a child, yeah. but he's actually super smart and perceptive and, and asks these really penetrating questions and makes us reevaluate our whole lives. That's awesome. Now, if people missed the 100th episode or any of the episodes, they can see all of them right now on Hulu as well, right? Oh, absolutely. We're streaming on Hulu. And now that we've gotten to 100th, we're going to be on, I think, more just local stations and um, internationally. So it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity for us to reach a broader audience. I'm super excited. Yeah, this is, as you mentioned, it's my second show, getting to 100 episodes. So uh, I can't believe we've made it. I mean, the fact that we've made it this far is truly incredible to me. But I think it's because people can really associate with our show as a, uh, as a family unit and see in us uh, their own lives. And so it's it's easy to associate with. And, and uh, hopefully we you know, deliver a lot of laughs, and, and uh, uh, yeah, I just feel blessed that we got this far. Now, the Drew Carey Show had way more than 100 episodes. Now American Housewife just hit the 100-episode mark, and your character in each of these shows are two completely different people. Oh, yeah, really different. Oswald uh, Lee Harvey was the name of my character, and I don't know how he even got a driver's license. Um, <laughs> he was about as dumb as a brick. Now, you did such a great job of making him lovable. Even if he wasn't necessarily the smartest dude, I bet most people would probably want to hang out with Oswald. Oh, Oswald was a lot of fun. He was like a sweet little boy. You know, he was just a nice guy. Um, and that was the fun of playing him, because I always saw it as like, he's just naive and optimistic and sweet. And so he always sees the best in everything. And the chance to play something like that is just really fun, because it's basically like playing a little boy again. And, and uh, he just wants to play. Um, Greg on American Housewife is he is sophisticated and interesting and, and well read and so it's a very different side but he also has a sweetness and an optimism to him that's uh, that's beautiful to play I mean you know it's it's not hard to drop into playing the character of Greg because uh, these writers in particular have uh, picked up in my speech pattern and a lot of family traits and and the fact that I'm like a walking Wikipedia you know I'll, I'll <laughs> always say fun fact or have this little interesting tidbit well I think is interesting anyway but they make fun of me when for it. <laughs> But uh, um, anyway, so uh, yeah, so uh, Greg has been a really uh, a fun character to play because he is he's very close to myself. Now, over this last season, your character has kind of taken a little bit of a turn running for office. Yes, he's running for city council. Thank you for watching the show. Yes, he is, uh, um, he is running for city council, and uh, the election is coming up. That is our finale episode. Um, so that's in a couple, uh, three weeks, something like that. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so yeah, he's running for city council because he wants to make a difference in his community. And, and, uh, that's a cool thing. I mean, that's the original calling of service to your community is something that he's, he's heralding the call. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. And hopefully we get picked up. This is my, my dream. And, uh, and we can have, uh, you know, some city council, Scenes. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Well, I know you got a lot of folks rooting for you. Not only you, Diedrich Bader, but also rooting for Greg, and, and hopefully he gets elected. I guess we'll find out soon. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's been a fun uh, campaign. I think, uh, yeah, when you say you'll 
Uh, hopefully you tune in. You'll see how it turns out. It's, it's pretty cool. Thank you again for your time today, sir, and congrats on 100 episodes. Thank you for having me back on the show. Absolutely. Again, our guest today has been Diedrich Bader. I've got all the information about American Housewife in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most. And addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Roughly four in ten Americans say they would choose to vote from their computer or their mobile device in the next election if possible. So my question, would you rather do that for 40 percent? This is less than half. Would rather vote from their computer or their mobile device. Would you rather do that or just vote in person like that normal? That cannot happen. It's got to be vote in person. All right. Well, there you go. That is it cannot happen. That is, uh, I don't know where the question was asked, but it was asked and... It, not half, four out of 10. So 40% said, ah, I'd vote for my computer or my phone. Here's my concern about that. I've had so many issues with my computer and my phone. I don't know that it would probably work for me. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I don't quite trust technology yet. That is your fun fact for today. Now you know. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. Cards.com. That's better credit cards.com. Time now for a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline, Germany. A lion pounced a zookeeper in Germany last Sunday. Yikes. She managed to escape the terrifying attack with no major injuries. Yikes. Can you even imagine if you were uh, no. if you were at the zoo and you're like, oh mom, what is what's going on over there? Well, that uh, that lady's gonna feed the lion. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, what would you even do? Yeah. <laughs> if you saw that, because ha- you can't go in and help, no? I don't know what you would do other than maybe scream and cover your kid's eyes. <laughs> and, but th- thank yeah. goodness, Hopefully no just run in the other direction. So no major, yeah, has no to major see injuries. Any of that. That's awful. It is, but again, no major injuries, which is awesome. That is a news headline from somewhere in this world. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com This is news that can only be described as weird news. A very bizarre video of a man sitting on a toilet in the middle of a busy intersection in Bristol, England, went viral. The video, taken in uh, Lawrence Hill, close to a supermarket there, motorists in the video have to negotiate their way around a man as he sits on a toilet reading a paper. Now, while he was sitting there, he was wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Okay, and, so he brought this out into yeah, the intersection. and he was wearing a mask. He'd been uh, shared all over social media now. Some have described him as a, quote, legend. I don't know about that, (laughs) saying all I could do was laugh at the moment. Uh, Others criticized him for compromising road safety because it was kind of slowing things down and causing a traffic jam. What was the point? Was he protesting something? No, that's the end of the story. There's no... Doesn't say who he was, doesn't say why he did it, doesn't say anything. So if you thought it was clever, it wasn't. Because if it was clever, then there would have been a reason. So it was like, hey, this is why I'm doing this, and then we would all know that. Silly. Yeah, so it's just being silly. It wasn't clever, but there you go. It's weird. It's today's weird news. John and Heidi. Now your moment of duh. Brought to you by RedCrossBlood.org. A fire in a hotel room resulted in the arrest of a man on suspicion of intentionally setting a fire. This happened at the Wingate Hotel, and the fire department there uh, went to the scene. They did arrest. They had a man arrested uh, because 57-year-old John Cagle... He was unconscious outside of the room, treated for smoke inhalation. When he regained consciousness, he made comments to firefighters saying that he set the fire because he was upset at his girlfriend who was not on scene at the time. 
So he admitted that he had done this. So he just set a fire just because... He said his girlfriend had left last week and sent him a message earlier tonight that upset him. So he lit the place on fire. Of he, course. He set a bag of her belongings that she had left in the room on fire. Well, that's what you do. Everybody knows that. So, <laughs> no, you don't do that. <laughs> no. He was uh, charged on first-degree arson and first-degree criminal mischief. Yikes. He is lucky... That other people in that hotel didn't lose their life because how awful would that oh, have been? Oh, yeah. that's Those are completely different charges. Uh, yeah. It's a bad idea, but this is definitely today's moment of duh. Early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that, but I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for a really fun little segment we like to call, Is It a Golf Course or Is It a oh, Rehab like Center? This. Brought to you by timeforrehab.com. Heidi, tell me, Mission Trails, San Diego, California. Is it a golf course or is it a rehab center? I'm going to say rehab center. Uh-huh. It's not. It's a uh, golf course. I, I was don't even thinking, okay, we have a mission to help people. So That's kind of what I was For all of thinking. you who guessed it correctly at home, there's your golf clap. I can't I can't take the golf clap away from the folks, Heidi, even though you got it wrong. But uh, this is how we play. Is it a golf course or is it a rehab center? Brought to you by timeforrehab.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. Here's the headline, and I love this story. Stranger buys boy a basketball hoop after seeing him shooting hoops into a trash can. Aww. The story comes from Louisiana, where a young boy was surprised after he got to get a basketball hoop for free says Devin Hinkinson, 30, was driving through the town of Alexandria, Louisiana, and he saw a young boy playing basketball in his driveway. As he got closer, he realized he doesn't have a hoop. He was throwing it into a trash can. And he said, I always do random acts of kindness. He thought this just seemed like a really good thing to do. He said, I'll see kids in the corner store and I'll buy them something to snack on. I'll see a homeless person. I'll get them a, a bomber jacket or some food. He said, I just don't typically post about it on social media because that is not the reason I'm doing it. I'm right. doing it from the heart. Right. I love that. Uh, he returned to the house with a basketball hoop. Short time later, the young man knocked on the door, the kid's mother said, said, I saw your boy shooting uh, the ball into a trash can. I went and bought him this basketball goal. Uh, the man was a complete stranger. She said, I just started crying because it was like an angel in disguise. Jeremiah was in the background jumping for joy, and <laughs> she was jumping up and down uh, with tears as well. She said it was very, very special. So, And it is cool. And there's a photo of this young man, and there's a photo of the little boy with him, and uh, the 32-inch portable basketball system there. And that is really cool. Now, Imagine if we could fast forward 20 years from now. That's very cool. And we could see this young man playing in the NBA. And you could say, hey, remember that kid that was throwing hoops into a garbage can and a guy driving by stopped and bought him a basketball hoop? Wouldn't that be cool? You know what? It could happen. It absolutely That's so could. Fantastic. The, I'm the, so I'm always so pleased when, and it sounds like this is a fairly young man who. Oh did yeah, this. yeah. I don't know how old he is. It doesn't yeah. say in here how. Oh yeah, he's thirty. It does say. I think we even said it. But uh, it, it's just a cool story. I've got a link to it in the show notes, and there's there's more that you can read in there as well. Uh, you can find that at the bottom of the page in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.